Hey Libra, thanks for checking out your love and romance reading for March 2023. This is going to be love and romance for the Libra Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading, therefore not every single message is going to resonate and that's okay. Take what does, leave what doesn't. You may need a private reading, okay? Um, and so without further ado, we're going to see what's coming up here. In this reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for love and romance for March 2023. Move you all just a little bit closer. And the first card we have coming up here for the Libra Collective is the Ten of Swords. Now, some of you might say, oh my gosh, how terrible. The reading's starting so bad. But no, it's not. Because the Ten of Swords is about the ending of karmic cycles. The Ten of Swords is telling us that uh, we're not going to have to repeat a bad situation again. So some of you maybe have been in a situation where you've been having a really hard time shaking somebody. Well, guess what? Good news. Congratulations. It's finally going to end. And for some of you Libras, I feel it's happening as like you've moved on, right? Maybe you have somebody that keeps coming in and out of your life. And in March, you're going to have a significant relationship that's like moving along nicely. That's like like a serious relationship. And this person resurfaces and they see that, no, like this this time is, is too late. This time you've moved on. This time, this is somebody that you're serious about. And so it can be ending in this way. Uh, some of you are breaking out of karmic cycles that have been blocking you in your love life. And some of you are healing from various addictions that were keeping you blocked from love. So Ten of Swords, oh, there's our confirmation right there. Some of you are um, healing from something that's been blocking you from love. So Ten of Swords, I know, looks like a scary card, but it really isn't. It really is not um, a, a scary card at all. It's a card that tells us that some past cycle, some past karma is done and we don't have to repeat it again. The next card that's coming up here for the Libra Collective is the Ten of Wands. You have ten repeating. You have ten repeating twice. And so this is telling us uh, that something in the past is finished. So in other words, I'm telling you, Libra, some of you are moving on and someone from the past is coming up. They may be begging. They may be pleading. And you might wonder for a moment, am I doing the right thing? Am I doing the right thing that I'm moving on? Should I feel sorry for this person? Because they are groveling here. And the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands both want you to know you have done absolutely positively everything that you can do in that previous relationship. There's nothing that can be done that you haven't tried. Therefore, there is no reason to pick that relationship up again. None. No reason to pick that relationship up again. It's finished. And you can move on. Ten of Wands, you learned your lesson. It gave you a bunch of new tools and now you can set it down and you can go on to the next journey. You can go on to the next chapter. Sometimes when people resurface like that, we wonder, well, maybe this is the universe's way of stopping me from moving forward and saying this person is resurfacing because you're meant to be with this person. That's not the case. Oftentimes people will resurface so we can finish the unfinished business. We can tie up the loose ends and we can move forward without baggage, you know, without that, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, tail dragging behind us, so to speak. So, Libra, you're moving on. Someone's coming up. They're begging you to reconsider. They're wanting to come back in. And what you need to know is that you all had a good run. You tried. You tried and tried and tried and tried and tried. And uh, there's nothing that you haven't tried. So you can move on with a clear conscience and feel like, hey, you know what? I did what I had to do. I did what I, what I was supposed to do. 
For some of you people, this is very important. It's not going to be for all of you. But for some of you Libras, this could even be someone that was struggling with some kind of an addiction. And now they got themselves together. They may have gotten into sobriety. And they're coming to you and they're saying like, look, you know, I did this for you. And if you don't take me back again, well, then I'm going to fall off the wagon. I'm going to start, you know, doing all kinds of things and substances. And they might be like guilting you into that. But this is the thing. We don't shower uh, for other people to like us. We shower because it's a part of our hygiene. It's a part of taking care of ourselves. Uh, we don't eat because we uh, want people to be comfortable that we're taking care of ourselves. We eat so that we can survive. We do things as a part of our survival. We do things as a part of our upkeep. We don't do it because we want somebody else to like us, right? It's, it, it's a part of our responsibility to ourselves. So don't let that guilt you because that's not going to end well. If you're going into a relationship out of guilt, that's not going to end well. That person is basically going to have that over your head, the whole relationship. If you don't do what I want, well, then I'm going to fall off the wagon. If you're questioning me about where I was all night, well, then that's going to stress me out and I'm going to fall off the wagon. That's going to constantly be over your head. Constantly. It's not going to end by you taking this person back. So for some of you, you're dealing with a person that can maybe be manipulating your emotions here with that or making you feel guilty and that is something you cannot allow yourself to get pulled into because that has nothing to do with you at the end of the day that is their commitment to themselves that is their uh self-care that is not on your shoulders the next card that's coming up here for the libra collective is the nine of wands wow You've moved on and this person does not want to let you go. They do not want to let you go. Nine of Wands, you're going to have to be strong, my darlings. You're going to have to be strong, my dear, dear Libras. This person is going to beg and beg and beg and beg. But this is not your first rodeo. You know how this is going to end. You know how this is going to go. And so it's important that you... Uh, you stand firm. You stand firm. And with the nine of wands, this is the thing. With the nine of wands, this guy is here protecting his face. And he's just ready to block anyone who's trying to pass. He's not going up to anybody and fighting them or confronting them. He's not going with the energy of uh, offense. He's going with the energy of defense. So defense, you just stay still. You just stay still. If they come at you, 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 you block. But you don't go into warfare. And this person might want that. This person might want to pick a fight because they're angry that you're not taking them back. You're not giving them what they want. So they'd love to fight with you. They'd love to fight if they can't get let back in because they're getting that attention, they're taking your attention away from your life and your new partner, and you're being consumed by them. They're, they're consuming your time and your energy. You don't have to do that. You don't have to get into that give and take with that person, that back and forth with that person. You just block, that's it, block, 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 block. We don't have to have discussions. And this can even be block in a very literal sense. Maybe you need to block this person on social media. They might make fake accounts. You got to block the fake accounts. You might have to block their phone number. If they come to your house knocking on the door, you act like you don't hear it. You don't come to the door. You might have to block them in a very literal sense in that way because they may be very persistent here. But it has nothing new to tell you. It has nothing new to give you. You've been there. You've been through it. And it's time to move on. It's time to move on. Um, with the Nine of Wands here too, um, 
I feel like I, for whatever reason, these cards coming in together really make me feel like this person is going to really, really tug here uh, or, 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 or like push the button here, push the trigger that is triggering guilt. They're just going to try to make you feel guilty. And you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. Especially if you're a Libra that you are like aware or self-aware that you've had codependent relationships in the past and you're trying to break out of that codependency this is going to be a this is going to be the last push to where you're breaking out of codependent cycles is that you are not allowing someone to make you feel guilty or responsible for their well-being in 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 some ways it's like a trial by fire for some of you okay uh so don't give in to it don't give in to it now, your next card is very positive. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles is breaking out of generational curses. There could be something with that relationship that is mirroring an unhealthy dynamic that you saw with your parental figures or the adults in your life growing up. And you're saying, you know what? I'm not going to continue that cycle. I'm not going to be in that relationship and I'm going to be with my new person. I'm going to be with my new person, this healthy dynamic, this healthy relationship. I'm going to accept this upgrade. Oftentimes for me in my readings, when the Ace of Pentacles comes up, you're breaking out of generational curses. You're breaking out of long time uh, blockages and uh, breaking out of inherited low vibrational energies it's a massive shift a massive massive shift you're basically going through an evolution and restructuring your spiritual dna so that may come in with some fatigue some body aches and pains uh sometimes some sinus issues uh throat issues sore throat uh tummy troubles migraines it's going to be really important that you be gentle with yourself and listen to your body. Be gentle with your body because you're going through a really significant shift. You're changing your karma here and you're upgrading into higher vibrational situations, higher vibrational relationships, a healthier way of life, healthier emotionally, spiritually, mentally, physically. And so you're, you're going to accept the upgrade and not get pulled back into this old energy. The next card coming up here for you is the King of Cups. Um, this could be a water sign person, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancerian. Uh, but this could also be emotional intimacy and generosity. And I feel, Libra... That for a lot of you, this is a connection with someone who is emotionally available. And maybe you haven't had that before. And I feel like you're coming into the energy of being emotionally available. And maybe you haven't been emotionally available for a long time. But with the King of Cups, there's a sense of uh, compassion, love, um even family right sometimes this is seen as like a father kind of energy so you may be manifesting someone coming into your life who's going to be the father of your children you may be stepping into that paternal type of energy for some of you there could be a sense of family coming in with this but overall this is i feel just very loving kind understanding patient energy someone who is patient with you someone who is loving with you um, someone who is going to give you their time, their attention, their focus, uh, their wisdom. Uh, and I, I feel like this is a relationship where you're able to really feel safe to express your feelings. Also, maybe in the past, Libra, it's like you've tried to express your feelings and people use it against you. Not in this situation. This person's not like that. This person's not going to use your uh, feelings as uh, you know, uh, a, a way to like embarrass you later or bribe you or, um, 
you know, shame you because this person cares about your feelings and wants to help you. So I feel a great sense of emotional um, intimacy, support, love, understanding, and patience here. This is a massive upgrade. You may want to check out your uh, other placements. Sometimes your other placements are going to resonate more than your sun sign. There's a link in the description that will take you to the other videos so they're easier to find. Uh, don't forget to check out the weekly forecasts on the channel as well. And if you would like to schedule a private reading with me, there's a link in the description that will take you to my scheduling page. Uh, Calendly.com slash Amethyst Angel Light. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous week ahead or month ahead, I should say. Hope to see you in the weekly readings. Take care and be well, my darlings.